Ah, man. I, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm actually jealous of all the artwork Michael has in his house in GTA 5. It's pretty, it's pretty incredible. Like, this is actually a place in Los Santos, you know? There's, I mean, the guy, he loves this painting so much. It's, it's actually there twice. I can't believe I've only just noticed the same paintings there twice. Hey there, guys. How's it going? My name's Ollie, and today I'm here to talk to you about the casino in GTA 5. Opening up in GTA Online It's pretty damn exciting. But before I do, I just want to become Michael and get some artwork. Thankfully, completely coincidentally, got a new sponsor today, Displate. They actually sent me a care package for me and my friends. It's friggin' awesome. So I've got two different versions here. I've got some small ones and some big ones. Mine are the big ones. Hands off, friends. Ugh. But uh, there is a link in the description if you want to grab uh, a display. I'm going to open these up. I've not actually looked at them yet. They're still in the box. But I really, really am excited to say that they're a sponsor. There's a link in the description. You can get 15% off using the code. The again. You can get 15% off with the link in the description using the code Ollie43. Uh, but if you don't know anything about them, there's like I said, more information on the link. But, oh, this is so cool. They are magnetic posters. And they're really, really easy to put up because they provide you with the stickers for it. And first thing I want to say, the box that they come in is freaking awesome. Ah! Oh! So the first one... Okay, I do not have the room for this. Like I said, they're on... They're metal posters and they're really, really cool. The box it comes in really, really nice. But the first one is for my buddy George. You know George? Remember that guy? He's still going, but yeah, I got George one. I got him Master Chief. He's a big Halo fan. Pretty damn awesome. So it's like printed. Obviously, there's lots of different artists. My link in the description goes to ones that I've found that I really like. You can even pick up this one if you if you want. It's really cool. Love the art. Amazing. So on the back, you see, there's like instructions. You get the stickers needed. You get a cleaning wipe. You get everything you need. But it's fairly light anyway. But the nice thing about this is it doesn't crease. And you can have them kind of hanging up. And it will look awesome. So high quality product. As I said, 15% off in the link in the description. This one's for George. Really, really cool. Master I can't Chief. clean when people watching me. Watching me. There's that one for Georgie boy. Uh, for those of you asking how he's doing. Oh, this one's so cool. He's doing very well. George, we miss you. Come back. Got Captain America. This is for my friend Gregory. So he's a big Captain America fan. Avengers. It's pretty nice. As I said, all of these that I'm showing you today, you can actually pick up for yourself if you fancy. And this next one's actually legit cool. Wow. Who's an Iron Man fan? That's so nice. So it's really cool. I was a little bit worried, honestly, about the quality of the print being on a metal, being on metal. Uh, but actually, looks freaking sick. So there are the three I'm giving away. Those are the medium size. But I got myself three, uh, sorry, two large ones. Let me just show you these ones. So these ones are actually going up in my office behind me. There's like a big white space behind me. And these are actually going up, not only to remind you guys to, uh, you know, check the display link, uh, my beautiful sponsors, but uh, I just really like this stuff. Wow. Uh, but this first one, give me a shout out if you know where it's from. Look at that. That's so good. Oh, I'm so impressed with that. The quality is insane. Wow. Bravo. And the other one is uh, by a, by the same artist, I believe. Uh, and it's in a very similar style. This is also Master Chief. But it's like, you can see there at the bottom. It actually doesn't look that crazy on the camera, but it's a very similar art style to the one that I just opened. That is so cool. Shall I go? Just give me a second. Yeah. But there we go. Like, I'm so, so excited to show you guys display. I'm really excited to have them as a sponsor here on the channel. I know this is quite a long segment of the video, um, but it's just really, really cool. Really appreciate display sending me the five freebies and also sponsoring the videos and guys like i said link in the description if you want to check them out use code ollie43 all right so i'm here in the campaign the gta 5 and it's really really exciting because apparently they are making changes to the casino online so apparently this is not all that different here uh, we've been seeing the casino 
for ages. I think I must have made videos about this pretty much since GTA Online first came out. Because it said opening soon, and I think everyone was pretty excited that it was coming soon. Honestly, it never came out. And everyone kind of decided, well, I guess nothing's going to happen with it. Um, also, it raises a lot of questions with uh, what's going to happen with, you know, microtransactions. Can you gamble real money? Uh, how is that going to work? Is it going to, like, because that enters a completely different ball game and makes GTA a gambling game. Which is, like, some people might see it as super shady from Rockstar or Take-Two, like it's greedy and whatnot. I don't know how I feel about them offering that kind of game in here. But I guess if it was in-game currency, I don't think it would matter too much. Uh, there's certainly no legal issues with it. Like, in terms, like it's just a virtual currency, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, like I said, the issue kind of it, it arises when people can spend real-life money for uh, gambling. And here's the thing. In GTA Online... All the cash is the same. There is no premium currency. However, in Red Dead Redemption 2, there is a premium currency. There's like the dollars that you pick up and also the gold bars. You buy the gold bars and there's only specific items for the gold bars. And that would allow, if GT Online made this transition, uh, the ability to have non-microtransaction currency playable in the casino, which would be really, really cool. So let's go and check out, as you can see, this is what it looks like in the campaign. Why is there just a random tree? <laughs> so random. Uh, let's go, ooh, EF accepted here. Hmm, I wonder if that's a sign, you know, different currency. Anyway, let's go and have a look online and see how it's changed. Okay, so I'm jumping on the, onto the console. Because you can't play GT Online with a modded game, obviously. So, luckily, we're in our hangar here, so it won't take me too long to get back. But, to continue the conversation, let me know in the comment section what you think of this. And let me just show you the changes they've made. Hopefully, they're still there. They may have actually removed them. Uh, if they have, I'll definitely just show you a... Oh my god, is there nothing in my hangar? Oh, no, 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 no. Let me call up my insurance. Hopefully they know where my stuff is. Uh, but yeah, I would be, I'll show you the screenshots that I've seen on Twitter if nothing else comes from it, but I'm pretty sure the changes will still be there. But it's really exciting to me that GT Online still getting love, still getting attention after Red Dead Redemption Online came out, which I think, fair to say, let me know if you agree with me on this, was a little disappointing. Like I haven't heard many people that play online uh it just i think actually honestly it's pretty good uh from what i played there's a lot of campaign story there uh it's like added dlc but it's online pretty interesting uh i like the fact that they're leaning into the story side of it uh but i just don't know many people personally that have picked up and played red dead redemption online uh because people just shoot you for no reason and it's the same in gta 5 the only difference with GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption is people, you can't, you can drive away in GTA 5. <laughs> you can be in a tank. But in this, obviously, in, uh, sorry, in Red Dead Redemption, you are just on a horse and you just get shot and then you can't go anywhere. And it sucks. I hate that. I hate people that shoot me down in this game, let alone in Red Dead Redemption. So yeah, I, I'm glad to see them giving GT Online some love. Okay, just as I go to land, I'm starting to remember why <laughs> all my planes are not in my hangar, because every time I go to land somewhere, I do this. Actually, what I do is I just jump out, but there we go. Scared me a little. Okay, chicken man. Let's go and have a little gander. There's changes that have been made. I'm still alive! Chicken man, why did the chicken cross the road? I did it. I put it in a video. I've been waiting to do that for at least three months. Aha! So, as you can see, this is so cool. So, they've removed the opening soon sign. However, this is why you might want to have a look around because they've made changes. Aha! So, if you go in here, there's start. Th and this is what's so awesome. And it's kind of like the Fortnite map. Little changes are being made, 
and it makes you go, okay, something's happening here. There's no dev blog. There's no story. There's no reason for it. But here we are. As you can see, this is the most excited I've ever been about signs and walking avoiding things. So EF accepted here. As you can see, this is all a little bit more high res now. Credit card. Hmm, exceptional value. Really, really cool. So yeah, you can see they're starting to do production. They're starting to do changes here. And there's a skip outside. So that would make me believe that this is opening soon. Now let's go and have a look around the back because apparently there's more changes, which is exciting. Be warned, security cameras. Now I don't, I'll show the picture I found. Hopefully I can find it. If not, <laughs> you'll just have to go back to the, the other part of the video and see what is different. But apparently this looks different. Is it taller than it was before? Not entirely sure, but I think they may be allowing you to drive in here. Let's see if we can get in anywhere. Oh, I see. It's all like locked under secret. Top secret shenanigans. There's, there's nothing else here. But yeah, it's really, really exciting. Oh, hello. Uh, to know that they're working on the casino. I love casinos. I think they're great. Obviously, they're terrible for people that can't manage money. But um, for, peop for people that, you know, enjoy the casino and stuff, I think it'd be really cool for them to open this up. Uh, I'd love to just play some blackjack. I'd love to play poker. Uh, get some friends involved. <laughs> that sounds like really good fun. Oh, man. Really cool. So, no other changes apart from that. But, yeah. Pretty cool. But, yeah. I just thought it was worth showing you guys. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And I'll see you for another video very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye. What the? Guys. <laughs> Before I go, watch this optical illusion. I don't know what's going on here. But as I get closer... But then when... What the hell is happening there? I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Should I feel bad that I spent 10 minutes or whatever showing them a signpost? No? No, they should click on display.